Hey guys, I am here with Max, the French Bulldog, and we are going to give him a bath and blow dry and get him all cleaned up. Say hi, Max. ready for a bath aren't you so these type of dogs have very deep wrinkles on their face pugs english bulldogs french bulldogs and the like so we're going to clean that up to start i'm going to take a leave-on conditioner i'm going to put it on a cotton pad and saturate the cotton pad and then I'm gonna start working up into those wrinkles. You would be amazed how conditioner can clean. And I like using these cotton pads made for cleaning your face because they wrap right around your finger and that gets right in there and cleans it up nicely. Be sure to get in the wrinkle over the nose. And a lot of these dogs tend to have extremely sensitive skin. You can see how pink he is. There we go. I'm also going to plug his ears. He's got these big bad ears and I don't want water funneling right into those. It'll also help calm him down. Here we go. I am using a D-Shed shampoo. So this is a tearless facial shampoo. I'm gonna rub it between my hands so it's nice and thin. And I'm gonna start by putting it on his cheeks and the top of his head. And then with the little bit that's left on my fingers, I'm gonna start working between the nose and the eyes. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of thickness on my hands and just gonna take my finger and slide it up into the creases. And be sure to get each individual crease. So there's one over the nose, 
one in between the nose and the roll in front of the eye, one roll right in front of the eye. And by using this method, you can really get deep in there with just the little bit that's on your finger. And the trick is when you go to uh, rinse them, you don't want to get any water in their nose. Super important. So the nozzle that I'm using for the rinse, it's a very easy to direct nozzle. Uh, these are really hard to find, so I apologize for that. I'm just showing you what I do. But if you could find something that has a nice narrow spray that is soft, and then turn it on fairly low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up into his cheeks, right up close to the face. So I'm not spraying him from a distance where it spans out. I've got the water right up on his face. Then I'm gonna start behind the eyes and rinse backwards. And I'm gonna let a little bit of that water fall forward. He lost his cut, so I'm going to replace that. So basically, you're putting the water here and letting it just water fall down very lightly. Not so that it ends up in the nose, just water falling. So here we go. And it's coming right down into those creases. Now you can come from the side of the cheek and let it push up into the crease. And then you can come up under here, and the water is just going to push up. Now it's time for the conditioner, the V Shed conditioner. And while that's soaking on, I'm going to come back in with my leave-on conditioner on a cotton pad again. Come right up in the creases, staying away from the eyes. Up over the nose. And you want that cotton pad to come out pretty clean. It's got shedding hair on it, but it's not covered in anything brown. Because these dogs will get um, yeasty kind of stuff in those creases. So basically, you want to not only just keep those clean, but you want to aerate them. And anaerobic bacteria sits in dark, deep places. So when you got those crevices held tight, You've, I see you, buddy. You've got places where it needs air movement. It needs movement of any kind. It needs cleaning. So by cleaning it, you're moving stuff around. You're opening it up. And that's really important, right? All right, we're going to rinse them. And I'm going to pretty much stay away from the head this time.
Good boy. So you notice the groomer's harness stays way off his trachea, and this really, really helps him to not struggle. You saw how pushy he was in the beginning. And if they're doing this, and they've got a neck loop on them, then it's contributing to inhibiting the breathing. So these breeds not only have more of a closed up nose, they have an elongated palate. So they don't have enough room up front here for the entire palate to sit. So the palate comes, it's kind of like a soft palate and it drops into their throat and it creates more breathing problems. It's not just the nose and the flat face, it's the elongated palate that's a soft palate flapping around in the back of their throat back there. It's kind of a lay person's way of describing it, I'm not a vet. But when he does this, he's not inhibiting his breathing because this is sitting way down here with nothing on his throat. And that's gonna keep him much calmer, right? I mean, it helps them so much to have a harness on. And this is, you know, just the regular size Grimmer's harness without any extenders. You know, if this were an English Bulldog, you would need the extenders to get around that big old body, but this fits him just right. So I'm putting an air wash in to loosen up any debris, dry up any water that might have gotten in his ears. And now we're gonna head off to the drying table and get him dry. Oh, and another thing, never put a dog like this in a cage dryer if you're a groomer. Dogs with these types of faces can easily die in a cage dryer, no joke. So no cage dryer for these guys, like ever. Now we're going to get this old man all dry. And uh, do his nails. And then I'm ready to go home. Right, old man?
as you can see, it takes quite a bit of work to get one of these guys dry, right? And he's got a big sore up under his neck right here. It's quite scabby. Probably been scratching at his neck, so got to keep an eye on that. Get his head dry. on his nails. To lay down, I'm going to let him. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, yeah, a good boy.
Good boy. Good boy. dogs eat. Listen. <laughs> Lurpy kisses. So you can see with all with the harness with all that goofing off he was doing over his nails, his breathing was never inhibited. Nice, huh? You're welcome. I design and I make each one of these. They're available at groomersharness.com. And if you order one, I make it myself. All right, we need pumice stone, and I don't think I have one in here. Okay. On dogs like this, he's got really pink skin. You don't want to use a carding knife on him. Um, but he does have a little bit of shedding hair. I just did him two weeks ago, so, you know, he doesn't have a lot of built-up coat. But these dogs shed non-stop. So to deal with this kind of shedding, we already did the uh, de-shedding shampoo and conditioner. I use a pumice stone. And I run it over the dog's coat. And look at what's falling to the table. For dogs like this, it gets out those hard hairs that are coming out. So you can see it's just tons of it coming out. You use it like a comb. take it over his really short areas where his uh, hair is real thin, just these longer areas. And I showed the real time of the blow dry on him so you can see how long it took. It, these guys have quite a thick coat and even though they're a short haired dog, they still require quite a bit of work. And not only that, they require knowledgeable work, right? So you don't want to um, just trust your dog with anybody. You want somebody who's going to take good care of them, understanding their health considerations. This isn't all of it, but got a ton of shedding hair out of him. Now I'm going to mist over him with a nice conditioning spray that smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Get the cotton out of his ears. 
And he's all ready to go home. Yeah. All right, guys. I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.